name is Steve Stevens, the best sports consultant money can buy. I make more money betting sports than anybody in the world. I'm the one that tells you who to bet. I'm not a bookie, I'm the bookie killer. If money talks, then I got a lot to say. I'm on the grind trying to make a hundred thousand dollars a day. The game that I pick, believe me, it's a winner. What I know could get you rich, cause all I pick is winners. Welcome to Las Vegas. Money talks, money talks. Welcome to Las Vegas. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You're tuned into the VIP Sports Podcast. I'm Darren Otero, aka Steve Stevens, the bookie killer, uh, sitting here with my fill-in co-host for the day, Brandy. Hi, guys. Good afternoon, Brandy. Good afternoon. I brought you a gift. I don't know if you've seen it or not yet. You brought me a gift, huh? So you came bearing with gifts. Yes. Wow. You brought me the Black Mamba, huh? Look at that, guys. Yep. My co-host starting off right, bringing yep. me gifts. I do love that. Well, thanks a lot, Brandy. Uh, I appreciate it. peace to the legend. Absolutely. fucking lutely Well, as you know, ladies and gentlemen, Skip is in spring training right now. Uh, I pay all that money for him to get close to the referees, the coaches, players. Uh, that's the whole reason why we're the number one sports consultant firm in the world for Major League Baseball. I spend a lot of money on it. So for the next few weeks, I'm going to bring in some co-hosts. Nothing better than a beautiful girl, guys. I'm sure you guys aren't opposed to bringing Brandy in for a couple weeks so she could uh, ride along with me, if you know what I mean. But uh, February 27th, 2020, podcast number 254. Wow. Our show airs every Thursday night. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Now, for advertising opportunity, if you guys are watching and are listening to the podcast, you own a small business, interested in getting involved in this booming sports betting business, just go to advertising at VIPSportsLasVegas.com and we'll get back with you with all the details on how you could become a sponsor of the show. We got a great show for you today, guys. We're going to talk about college basketball. We're going to talk about NHL. We're going to do a little entertainment news, NBA segment, as well as a little entertainment. If you guys want to get a hold of us, 877-220-6540. If you're looking for a free sports pick, go to my website, VIPSportsLasVegas.com. And uh, like I said, we'll get back with you and show you how to make more money than you've ever fucking imagined. If you're watching this podcast on YouTube, make sure you go to the live chat uh, that I have in the first beginning of the airing of the show. We pre-tape these podcasts, but I'll be on the live chat every week to mix it up with you guys to answer any questions that you guys have. How to be a better sports better. How to have sex with your girl a little bit better. How to make more money than you've ever imagined. Any question we got, shit, I got Brandy rolling with I me today. Come. Yeah. So, I'll you know, we can answer any questions that you got. But uh, make sure you hit that notification button so you get alerts to every single thing we do. We appreciate all your thumbs up and we read every one of your podcasts. Uh, well, <laughs> we appreciate your comments on my podcast. <laughs> anyway, you also listen to the VIP Sports Podcast on Apple Podcasts. Spotify, Google Play Podcasts, and all other major podcast platforms, or simply just Alaska, Alexa, play the VIP Sports Las Vegas podcast, and she'll spit that shit to you right away. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at VIP Sports LV. If you want to direct message me, that's probably the best way to get a hold of me. Just shoot me a direct message, and I'll get back with you about doing business immediately. But anyway, got a special guest riding with me today, Brandy. What's going on, Brandy? Brandy, if you guys don't know, is an entrepreneur out here in Las Vegas, basically labeled as a boss bitch. Yeah. Uh, you got a your female hand pimp. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there you go. You got your hands in a lot of different things, you know? Yep, I most certainly have. I, I mean, I've ran an escort service for four or five years now, so. Of course you have. So, I mean, you're out there getting the job done. So being in that industry, I'm sure you got a lot of girls under you ready to roll, huh? Yep. And I mean, I heard that you're recently single, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I, I seen that. Uh, what, what's going on with her? Uh, she's lost her mind. I don't know if you could say seems, midlife seems, crisis or what. Seems like it. Well, I mean, when you're fucking with teenagers, yeah. it's kind of hard to go from Steve Stevens to a teenager. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, did she f pick him up at a local high school or how'd that Well, yeah. I mean, happen? they come a dime a dozen. Actually, the kid just did graduate high school last year. So, yeah. I'm surprised he graduated. Yeah. <laughs> but she's borderline pedophilic. But, yeah, she's had sex with several teenagers. Oh, yikes. So, yeah, she's lost hey. her mind. Yeah. Oh, let's get on to something else. Well, it is what it is. <laughs> but, you know what I mean? Being single now, I'm sure you got a bunch of girls over at your spot. Oh, yeah. No, they would Steve all Steve. love Steve Stevens. Huh? They'd, they'd love them some Steve Stevens. Yeah, you know, I'm not looking I'll for a girl. Soon. Yeah, I'm not looking for a girlfriend, but I'm sure looking to go out and have a good time. You know oh, what I mean? 
it's a lot of fun. You got a couple pieces for me, Brandy? Oh, yeah. What do you like? Anything. No, I don't like anything. I like booty, teeth, and feet are my three things. I got it all. Booty, so. teeth, and feet. You I know got, what I mean? Yep. You, I you got, got that pretty smile, some pretty feet, and that big booty? I can roll. You know what I mean? Because you can always buy tits. Yep. I mean, you can buy booty, too, but like I said, you I can bought all, it all, but... Yeah, you got it all, huh? I see that. Like I said, you came prepared, packed in every direction, huh? Yep. But anyway, so, Brandy, I heard you just had a baby not too long ago, huh? Yeah, four weeks. Four weeks ago. Yeah. Well, fuck, you sure bounced back pretty good. Thank you, thank you. You must be eating good out there, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. I was going to have you on the show a couple months back. Mm -hmm. And uh, Skipper ended up not going on his vacation. So, but yeah, I'm going to bring co-hosts in here all the time. Fuck, you guys want to see Brandy in here every week, give her opinion, uh, to chart, you know, chirp in a little bit with Steve Stevens, you know, let me know. Yeah. Adding a little beauty to the show never hurts. You know what I mean? All righty. So thanks for riding along, Brandy. Anything yeah. you want to chip in and say, let's do it. But, you know, Brandy's also been a client of mine over the last couple years. Oh, yeah. You know, we've made, made some money together. Money. Huh? Yeah, a lot of money you've made me. Yeah, well, tell these people. No, no, I mean, you just... You win. I mean, you you're really infatuated do. with this industry, obviously. Oh, you, yeah. You love the I, I business love a lot, right? Yep. I love sports betting, all of that. But you've just, it's crazy. Some of these guys out here, I don't want to mention any names or anything. Well, we don't need to bash nobody. Yeah, I no, think everybody but knows. But they're fucking fools yeah. and they lie. Yeah. And, you know, Steve Stevens, he's just a fucking straight shooter. So, I mean, men it's lie, what it women is. lie, results don't, right, Brandy? Exactly. Absolutely. fucking lootly. Well, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. Anyway, guys, uh, don't forget, you want to up your swagger, make sure you go to uh, absoluteblowoutwinner.com. Make sure you grab your Absolute Blowout Winner t-shirt. I need one of those. Absolute <laughs> Blowout Winner isn't just a fucking phrase. It's a way of life. You got winners and you got losers. Which one are you, Brandy? A fucking winner. I love your fucking attitude. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, we got a couple different things going on. Uh, I do want to start right off the bat. Shame on you, uh, as we all know, the Philadelphia 76ers are a great and dominant home team straight up, but awful on the road. Here's an example of the poor free information available online. Speaking of guys being online, being a fucking joke, you're going to love this one. I'll give you an example of poor advice on information. USA Today suggested taking the Philadelphia 76ers on the road last night at Cleveland at minus $3,340. So you have to bet $334 yeah. to win 100 bucks as a favor. Guess what the result was? Philly lost in its seventh straight road game outright against the terrible Cleveland Cavaliers. Shame on you to anybody suggesting to take a minus 350 favorite fucking on terrible. a six-game road losing streak. That's, fucking That's coming from USA Today. Good job, USA Today. Yeah. Keep burying people. <laughs> you guys want to win, you make sure you come to VIPSportsLasVegas.com. What do you say we get right into some college basketball? You ready? Yeah, let's do it. Anyway, guys, College Basketball is brought to you by Blue Chew. We are pleased to be working together with our friends at Blue Chew throughout March Madness. Now, uh, if any show talks about sex, it's definitely my podcast. So listen up, guys. It's time to increase your performance, get an extra boost of confidence in the sack. Blue Chew is the first chewable alternative with the same FDA-approved active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis. You could take them anytime, day or night, and they work twice as fast as a pill that you swallow. So you'll be ready to go when that special someone is in the mood to go down and get down. <laughs> Blue Chew is prescribed online by licensed physicians so you don't have to go to the doctor's office or wait in line at a pharmacy. It's made in the USA and ships right to your door in a discreet package. Uh, and right now, Blue Chew is offering a special deal for the fans of the VIP Sports Las Vegas podcast. Go to BlueChew.com, use my promotional code VIP and get your first shipment absolutely free with no hassle, uh, no arguments, nothing. Use the promotional code VIP and you'll pay only the $5 shipping fee. So up your swagger and be a baller in and out of the bed with Blue Chew. That's Blue Chew like the color, bluechew.com. Try it for free today. Now, uh, in your line of business, uh, Blue Chew would probably work out pretty good for a lot of these older tricks, huh? Oh, yeah. Definitely. I mean, would, would a girl on a date or a, an escort on a date actually want their trick to be on Blue Chew? I would think you wouldn't want them with a hard dick. No, be an easier model. Probably mark, not. Huh? But, no, but you do it at home. Oh, at home for sure. <laughs> yeah. Does your dude need a little Blue Chew or no? They could all use a little Blue Chew. But <laughs> <laughs> Everyone could use a little Blue Chew to yeah. go a little bit longer, last a little bit longer, huh, Brandy? Yeah. Anyway, but so... Um, throughout the industry, you know, like I said, you love this business. You've been in the escort business for a while. Mm -hmm. um, you got your service. If people want to find you on Instagram, how do they find you? Uh, it's just daddy issues. Daddy is underscore issues. Daddy issues. D-A-D-D-Y issues. 
Yeah, D A D D Y. Yep. Okay, so if they want to get with you, or if they talk, want to talk to you, or they want to get one of your beautiful friends to hang out with them, that's what they do. Yep, exactly. Absolutely. Whenever you're in Vegas. I got them all. Absolutely, every color, every size, shape. Yes. Huh? Yeah, 100%. God damn, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to get a couple little samples of what you got okay, over there. Yeah, you know definitely. what I mean? <laughs> it, that could pop. That'll happen, no problem, right? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> but anyway, what are you doing today? You just came by. I see you're doing your thing. You've been working your ass off out there. What's what's on your plate for today? I'm just hanging out here. You know, I love the podcast. Um, and then after that, you know, I just had the baby, so. I'll probably be going home taking care of him. <laughs> yeah, so it's going to take you about another, what, couple months before you're back out on the grind or what? No, I'm always grinding. I love your attitude. Always grinding. You always got to be grinding to get that money, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. fucking And you got to be with Steve Stevens to get and, that money. Well, that's a fucking fact. You know, it's no secret I've taken over this business, but like I said, adding a little sex, beautiful co-host, stuff like that, <laughs> isn't going to hurt anything either. You know no. what I mean? Anyway, guys, uh, let's get right into it. Grab your pen and a piece of paper, because this is the shit you need to listen to. Here's some of the teams that are streaking against the spread heading into next week's conference tournaments. Grab your pen and a piece of paper, guys. Nobody gives you information like I do. Like I said, we don't go over every game. I don't preview everything on the schedule. This is an ESPN. This is a sports betting show, and my job is to show you guys how to make more money betting sports than you could possibly ever fucking imagine. And I got a couple trends right here that are going to blow their mind. Hofstra, eight straight wins against the spread. Belmont, seven straight wins against the spread. UMBC, six straight wins against the spread. Kansas, six straight wins. Montana, six straight wins. Now, here's some teams that are hot at home against the spread. UMass, 14 and two at home against the spread. Iowa, Iowa is 30 and two. Actually, that's not true. They're 10 and two. But over the last couple seasons, Iowa's been getting job done. Iowa's 10 and two against the spread in their last 12 games at home. So if Iowa's playing at home, you definitely want to fuck with them. Here's some of the teams that are hot against the spread on the road. North Florida, Winthrop, and St. Francis are combined 37 and nine against the spread on the road this season. You wouldn't be opposed to have a fucking 37 and nine streak picking up 27 units, huh, Brandy? No. When's no. the last time you picked up 27 units? The last time you gave me a game. Yeah, well, that's the last time you picked up a unit. But to pick up 27 straight out of fucking, uh, you know, 37 and 9 out of 40-something-odd games, that's amazing. Oh, yeah, no, no. Sorry, I missed that <laughs> Yeah, exactly. You got you to gotta make sure that you follow certain trends and streaks to be able to get absolutely fucking paid. We're going to move into a little entertainment news. You're going to love this one. New York prison officials are worried about Harvey Weinstein ending up like Jeffrey Epstein, they said Weinstein will have his own cell with around-the-clock video surveillance and a DOC escort when he leaves his cell. Here's the question. Will Weinstein be a target in prison? Most what definitely. Do you think? I think so. He's going to, well, yes and no. Is he going to be a target? Yes, because he has money. And this old-ass shriveled-up man is definitely going to get pimped on in jail yeah. for some money. But fondling with an adult, are the guys going to come in there and kill him like he was messing with little boys? No. Like I said, uh, I don't think the people in prison give a fuck about uh, what he's done. But do you think Epstein actually killed himself, or do you think it was possible foul play? I think it was probably a little bit of both. Yeah. I think the guy wanted to fucking die, maybe had somebody in the system help him out a little bit uh, to, you know, help him kill himself. Yeah. But that guy had no chance, no choice. You get to that age, hey, stop fucking with kids and stop fucking fondling women. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. These guys are getting blasted in Hollywood left and fucking right. Yeah. I mean, when you're out, you know, in the past or you're with your girls, I mean, you know, there's a lot of perverted fucking men out there fondling and doing it. all shit. You ever been disrespected on a job or anything like that? Uh, I mean, not really. Like, it, it's... I've always done like bachelor parties when I've gone with the girls and stuff, uh -huh. and those are kind of like more fun environments. Right. Like it's not really like one creepy ass fucking loner guy. You Correct. Know, just trying to corner you and everything. Right. Well, I don't so, see you as the type of girl that's playing that shit anyway. Yeah. No. You know, you I'll gotta knock be a boss. Fucker out. You gotta boss up. <laughs> I'm a big girl. So yeah. You gotta <laughs> get the fuck up off me right <laughs> yeah. away. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so do I think that uh, you know it's gonna be a problem? No. He'll go do his time and probably die in there pretty fucking quick. The guy's got a fucking heart palpitation. He looks fucking dead when you see him on fucking TV. Oh, yikes. <laughs> Not to mention he's facing several different cases in different places. But uh, uh, I'll just say to, to both of them, Epstein, uh, as well as Harvey Weinstein, 
you guys better stop fucking around because, like I said, there's no place for that shit in this fucking environment. Are they both Jewish? Yeah, they're both Jewish. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to bash Jews because <laughs> every a, race does certain <laughs> things. But uh, like I said, yeah, it's a coincidence that uh, the two both got blasted. But uh, let's move right into some NBA uh, segment, which is going to be great. Now, this is possibly one of the best golden nuggets we've given out all fucking year, and I've been giving them to you guys nonstop. Here's a recap. We said Dallas Mavericks first half on the road. Guess what the result was? Dallas had 64 points by halftime, easily covered against the spread on Friday versus Orlando. And again on Saturday in the first half, they covered at Atlanta. And again last night on the road in the first half in San Diego and San Antonio. Dallas is now 24 and 5 against the spread in the first half on the road. How many fucking golden nuggets do I have to give you guys to get paid? If you follow what I say and you do what I say, you will make more money than you possibly could ever imagine. And remember, guys, it's very, very hard right now. Sports books are making a lot of money. For all you new amateur sports bettors that are just getting in the business, you don't know what to do. All you got to do is pick up the phone, 877-220-6540. Give me a call. I'll take you from crawling to balling over motherfucking night. You know Amen. what I mean? Amen. Here's another recap. We said bet against the Denver Nuggets on the road in the first quarter. Guess what the result was, Poppy? Last Friday, Denver only scored 17 points. It did not cover in the first quarter in OKC. I mean, you add 20 dimes on that bad boy, huh, Poppy? Yeah, a bit. Uh, just a little couple shackles, huh? You do like making money, correct? I'm Steve Stevens. I'm the one that tells you who to bet. I'm not a bookie. I'm the bookie killer. Whether you're here in town on business or to flat out gamble, don't forget, sports betting is a multi-billion dollar industry and you deserve your fair share. Call 877-220-6540 or go to VIPSportsLasVegas.com, mention this ad, and get a $500 personal play absolutely free. See you in the winner's circle. Anyway, guys, we're going to move into who's hot. And these are teams that are fucking on fire right now. Oklahoma City Thunder, 38-20 and 20 against the spread. But be careful. OKC is facing a tough back-to-back -back against the spread. OKC hosts Sacramento tonight. By the way, they've won three straight wins against the spread. And then they travel over to Milwaukee to face the Bucks on Friday. Mitch, Milwaukee's been hot as a fucking pistol. Uh, if you ask me, Milwaukee has a great chance of winning the NBA championship. Now, what's your favorite sport, Brandy? I'd say college basketball. College basketball? Yeah. Well, you're smart. That's where we make all the money. Yep. But uh, as far as every sport in general, baseball, Major League Baseball, uh, NBA, college basketball, football, well, who do you think has the most attractive uh, athletes? Ooh. Uh, I like Well, we already know guys. the NBA fucks the most, huh? for sure. Yeah, so I was going to say, I was going to say NBA, but like, not, I like white guys, uh -huh. so I mean. Well, that's okay. You have your preference. So you And move. all the white guys in, in NBA are just not that good looking. No, they're a little unorthodox. Yeah, They're exactly. a little uh, elephantitis. They're a little bit grown. Yeah, they look exactly. a little weird. You know what I mean? Yeah. Shit like that. So, I mean, but what about that paper they got? Doesn't I mean, that paper help up for the looks? Yeah, it makes it worth it. So it'll take a six to a nine pretty I much real quick. I cry myself to sleep with the, the money <laughs> in my <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Who is your... If you had a crush in sports, period, who would it be? Who's your, who do you think the best-looking guy in sports is? Oh, God. I don't really, uh, I don't really have one. Good. Name, well, that's name a good a answer. Huh? Name a few. There's none in few. If you don't like none, I don't like any of them, period. You okay. know what I mean? There ain't no women out there <laughs> playing for me. But uh, I thought, you know, a lot of guys, a lot of women like Tom Brady. A lot of women no. like... You think Tom Brady's sexy? No, he's not my type. No? No. No, if you were with him, you think you could put it on him harder than Giselle does? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Probably or for sure? For sure, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't mad at you at all, at, at fucking all. Anyway, guys, speaking of the NBA, Boston Celtics, five straight wins against the spread after winning straight up as a five-point dog in Utah last night. Now, by the way, Utah is a top contender in the West, but the Jazz are just 3-10 and 10 against the spread in their last 13 games. So overall, the Utah Jazz are fucking garbage. You've never had me, you've never got the Utah Jazz for me. I know that for sure. Mm -mm. That's not a team that you bet on. Mm -mm. You've been getting college basketball, haven't you? Yes. And that's where you make the money. Yep. You know, Brandy right. started off as a $300 player. Uh, yesterday, you bet, what, $1,200? Yeah. So, you know, we're getting you up there. 
you know, once you're at $1,000 a game, you pick up four Gs, you know, four units a week, you know, that'll pay a couple bills. Yeah. You know, pay the mortgage, help the kids out a little bit. You know get, what I mean? Get a newer ass, newer tits. What, hey, whatever it fucking takes to get that paper, right? <laughs> yeah. To each his fucking own. Anyway, Milwaukee Bucks, guys. And like I said, this team likes winning and covering. Eight and two against the spread in their last 10 games. I'm on Milwaukee Bucks' dick right now. They've made me a lot of fucking money. But once again, I've been making most of my money in college basketball. I want to move on to NHL. As you know, we got the Vegas Knights out there pounding it out. You know, first period totals uh, are on fire right now. The Vegas Golden Knights uh, wore stickers on their helmets last night to honor Alex Bush, the 12-year-old boy who lost his life in North Las Vegas on Valentine's Day. Aww. Yeah, very, very sad. When he and his sister were struck by a truck while crossing the street. His sister is still in the hospital. The Knights will wear the same stickers again on Friday. That's and I so think terrible. it's just a phenomenal thing to do, man. No, it really is. It, you know, it's one of the saddest stories I've heard. A boy and his sister walking across the street. You lose your brother. You know, the, the sister's in the hospital. My thoughts and condolences go out to the family. God bless you. Um, you know, there, there's words don't have. I can't express the words to say how sorry I am for the family. And these type of tragedies are just devastating, you know, considering that, you know, I got four kids, two boys and two girls. Yeah. You got kids. I just, I don't know what I would do. No, yeah. So shout out to the family out there. My condolences are with you. God bless. And thank you, Golden Knights, for being such a solid team in our community who yeah. really stands behind Vegas and Vegas Strong. Because if you guys haven't forgot, it's Vegas Strong all day long. Yeah. Here's teams on a winning streak right now. Vegas Golden Knights, by the way, seven straight wins. St. Louis, five straight winnings hockey. Flyers, four straight wins. Colorado, four straight wins. Those are straight wins for the game, guys. Those are teams that you want to put your money on to absolutely get paid. Now, we're going to go over some first period overs, which, as you guys know, this is a fucking money bag. This is where you get big fucking money. Now, here's the thing. The sports books don't let you fire 5, 10, 15, 20,000 on a first period total in hockey. They'll limit you to $1,000. You might be able to get off $2,000. Yeah. I mean, even if, with all my runners and everything I do, the most I could probably get in on one of those is like $6,000. Could you imagine if I was able to bet $50,000 on the first period of hockey total? Oh, infinite. Uh, I'd make a half a million dollars in a month. Yeah. So, like I said, as soon as you guys open up those betting limits out there, I'm going to tear you motherfuckers up, <laughs> plain and fucking simple. But first period overs, guys. Flyers, 10 and 2 in the last 12 games. The Vegas Golden Knights, 10 and 3 in their last 13 games in the first period over. So if you want to get paid before the game ends, you definitely want to bet the Flyers, first period over, and the Vegas Golden Knights, first period over. Now let's talk about some first period unders. You got the Kings at 11 and 2 to the under in their last 13 games. Boston, 10 and 2 to the under in the last 12 games as well. So if you're looking for a first period under, you want to play the Kings or Boston. Let's move right into some entertainment news. Okay, you're going to love this one. Steven Spielberg's daughter, Michaela Spielberg, has announced her entrance into the porn world. She's only 23 years old. She's not doing hardcore porn yet. Just sold, uh, no, she's doing solo performances as of now. Here's the question. Steven Spielberg is reported worried about his daughter's career chores. Should he be, or can she make a nice career for herself? I think she can make a nice career for herself, but well, as of a course father... She, but I mean, like I said, it sounds to me like her dad's not giving her any money. Your yeah. dad's a fucking billionaire, yeah. and you want to go out and show your pussy to everybody and start doing porn? But you'd be surprised. A lot of the girls that are hoeing and doing that shit, they all have... Their parents have money. Yeah. All of them. They're rebelling. Yeah, exactly. Is what they're doing. That's what it is. All but, the girls that I've hired, they've all came from, like, daddy's money and everything, and they right. just want to do it. So, so. So, they, so what makes them do it? They just, like, want to go fuck on camera? Is it because they want other people to see them, their pussy and see them fucking? Or, like, what's the justification behind it? I don't know money? what her personal agenda is, but, I mean, maybe... She, because Lawrence Fishburne's daughter does the same thing. She's in full hardcore porno as well. And, you know, you don't think it puts an embarrassment on the family? And, or? I mean, porn isn't really that much money, if you think about it. Like, those girls don't, like, per set, you don't really get, like, a whole lot. It's not, like, really a big ticket at once or anything. So, so how much are they getting? Like, 500 bucks? I mean, if, if it's, like, a huge production or something, then, I mean, you can get maybe, like, 
a thousand, two thousand bucks or something, but that's not shit. I mean, now, do you get to pick your dick or do they just line up any and dick? That's so, the thing, I mean, like, do you show up and have a six inch dick or do you show up to a hip hop guy that's got a 19 inch dick? It, see, it's, I mean, it's different. Like every contract is different. So, I mean, uh, would you, would you think as a woman that I would rather like, take a fucking huge cock, I mean, for not that much amount of money, or like, would I rather take like a smaller cock for that same amount of money? I'd say the smaller cock to yeah. get the easy money, exactly. right? Exactly, yeah. I mean, you're here to we make money want, yeah, exactly. doing porn. You ain't trying to go home with your pussy leaking on the way home. Exactly, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of these girls out there, like I said, that hip hop porno, some of these girls are, I mean, these days oh. they're taking 12, 15 inch dicks in their ass the whole fucking nine yeah. yards. No. I mean, I like it. I like it. One mm. thing about me, if you know me, I like freaks. Yeah. That's why I was with my ex so long. She's freaky as a motherfucker. Yeah, no. Just not a good person overall that you want to be with. You know what I mean? And I mean, she likes children now, so. Well, and she likes children, which is very, very disturbing, especially yeah. when I have kids with her. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> but, you know, it, it, to each his own. You know, you want to fuck teenagers, go fuck them. But, uh, so Spielberg, my advice to you, bud, is get your daughter some money, get her in a different profession, buy her a fucking company, or do something to occupy her time because it sounds to me like she's bored. She's bored, yeah. I was just going to say that. Yep. She's got nothing else to do. She wants to go on and do a little porn and get pounded out for some money. Yeah. Fuck it. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. all for it. All right. But if it was my, now, if it was your daughter, what would you do? I, I don't, I'll never have a daughter. So, so well, you have three boys I, right now, right? Yeah, I only have, so I couldn't even imagine. <laughs> my God. Like I said, guys, one thing about it is we're in a crucial time of the year for sports betting. You got to understand March Madness is right around the corner, which I know you're excited as a motherfucker oh, for yeah. as well. It's my favorite time of year. There's more money to be made in March Madness than you could possibly imagine, and you guys need to up your bankroll right now. Like I said, the last thing you want to do is go into the March Madness tournament using your own money. Mm -hmm. So right now, we got a couple weeks to build you a bankroll. I tell you what I'm going to fucking do for you guys right now. I'm going to run a seven-day promotion of my owner's selections because everybody always calls in for my VIP promotion. Uh, they call in for the $99 promotion or $150 promotion, mm -hmm. and then they think that they're going to get my personal plays that I charge $2,500 for. No, you get what you pay for. You so. get what you fucking pay for. If you want to take advantage of a college kid promotion that's betting $50 and $100, <laughs> I mean, do it. It'll get your feet wet, and it'll make you money. Just don't expect to get my owner selections or my personal plays that I charge top dollar for. Exactly. So what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to give you guys an opportunity of a lifetime. I'm going to give you seven days of my owner selections. These are games that sell for $500 a piece. I'm going to give you seven full days of my owner selections, all sports, for $299. Holy shit. A $2,500 value for $299. Call 877-220-6540 right now. Spend $299, work with me personally, get my owner selections for seven days, and make more money than you possibly ever fucking imagined. Is it fucking Christmas? or? Uh, it's definitely a holiday. Well, over here at VIP Sports Brandy, every day's a holiday. All right. We live like every day is Christmas. You know what I mean? Yep. Money to the fucking ceiling. All Got right. Got money longer than any giraffe neck you've ever seen in your motherfucking life. You know what I mean? Love it, yep. But anyway, guys, so we handled the sports. Back to your business. Um, so, like I said, you got the escort thing going on. You got a lot of girls under your stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to get in the sports industry, stuff like that. Well, yeah. you know, you know, you could come by maybe next week or something, do another show with me, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Discuss a couple different things. You know, what intrigues you the most about betting sports? Um, do you watch the games? Do you get excited? Oh, yeah. No, I love them. I go to a lot of games, too. Um, I go to a lot of NBA games and stuff. Um, I want to start going to more college games because that's like my favorite to watch. You ever sat by one of the Kardashians? Because you know, boy, <laughs> that them girls love, Chloe loves some NBA dick, Oh, boy. I know. You yep. know what I mean? Don't I could just, know. I always tell people, you know, I got a game stronger than, than Hurricane Katrina. I got a game bigger than Chloe Kardashian's few, camel toe. I'm hotter than Chloe Kardashian's pussy than an NBA game. You know what I mean? I always use that girl a as an few, example. A few of the girls that work for me, they just get smashed out by NBA players. Oh, and just fucking love it, huh? Yeah. It's well, awesome. NBA players pay. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, that's going to pay a little no, bit more she, in the porn. You can get nice, an NBA player for 5, 10 Gs all day long. Yeah, she gets a nice envelope every time. So. What do you think the average NBA player is paying for some pussy? Uh, I mean, see, because the, like, they're also, you know, like, the girls want to fuck him. So I'd say like three G's. I mean, that's like. So a lot of the girls already want to do it as it is. Yeah. They start it at the they'll, nightclub they'll party and hang free, out. But yeah, I, I was mean, just going to say, there's plenty of girls that are out there that are fucking for free. Yeah, exactly. But every so. now and then they, you know. But if a girl's on her hustle, like even if you would do it for free, 
you're not doing it for free. No, absolutely you know? not. So. You got to get some bread one way or another. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Otherwise, you're a fucking slut. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I respect working girls that get money, but I don't respect sluts that fuck for free. Yeah. I mean, like I said, I mean, if you like somebody and that's what you want to do, but when you claim to be a professional. Oh, yeah. And you're fucking for free. You don't fuck for free when you're a professional. So. Well, you said you get what you pay for. You yeah. know what I mean? Yep. But anyway, Brandy, it was a pleasure having you on the show. No, I appreciate so the much. gift that you brought me. That Black Mamba, like I said, man, this is definitely going up in the office. Uh, RIP to Kobe Bryant. Yeah. Uh, shout out to his wife who's holding up strong. That was so hard to watch, the memorial. It, that's why I didn't really speak on it when it came out. It, it hurt me so fucking bad. Yeah. I didn't even have words for it, you know? Yeah. And his wife is uh, grieving right now tremendously. So my advice to all you guys and reporters, leave her the fuck alone and let her grieve. Oh, yeah. She's been going through some tragic shit, and it is what it is. But more importantly, guys, there's money to be made out there right now. Everybody's getting paid, and I want to make sure that you guys get paid as well. I just wanted to do a quick recap of a podcast, give you guys some golden nuggets out there. Shout out to my boy Big Skip out there uh, promoting our Major League Baseball. Keep working those referees. Keep working them umpires. Keep working them players because we're going to have the biggest Major League Baseball season you could possibly imagine. And just like I said last week, don't be fooled because you guys see Major League Baseball on the game sheet. There's more money to be made in college basketball right now than any other fucking sport. So once again, uh, you want to say anything before we go? How do they find you again? Uh, on Instagram at daddy issues, D-A-D-D-Y underscore issues, I-S-S-U-E-S. -S -S -E well, thanks for coming and hanging with me for the no, day. It's been you. an absolute fucking pleasure. Uh, Poppy, no offense to you, but I'd rather sit here looking at Brandy than you, brother. <laughs> you know what I mean? But we'll get back <laughs> next week and start giving these guys some information that they're looking for. But guys, keep it simple. Like I said, attack. Don't go betting games that you didn't plan on betting in the beginning of the day. The only way that you make money is staying focused with money management and discipline. What that means is one game a day, not every day, and betting the same amount of money on every single game. Make sure you take advantage of that $299 promotion, seven days of owner selections to build up your bankroll for March Madness. And like I said, it's the best time of the year to get paid. I got clients in town all weekend long. I got mine. You better get yours. We love you. Talk to you soon. If money talks, then I got a lot to say. I'm on the grind trying to make $100,000 a day. We play with big cash and we're blowing money fast. Riding in a plush Benz trunk full of money bags. I need a G for every light bulb on the Vegas strip. Naked bitches in my mansion dancing to some player shit. Made a grip on the grind, but I started out with nothing. Dealt me a bad hand, but I still won bluffing. I'm Steve Stevens. I make G's when I'm sleeping. Some cowards shot me up as they ain't want to see me breathing. Nice try, but my bosses never die. Fresh out the hospital, stitched up, getting high in the game that I pick. Believe me, it's a winner. What I know could get you rich, cause all I pick is winners. I ain't perfect, I'm a sinner. All about making wages. We love to gamble out here. Welcome to Las Vegas. Money talks. Money talks. Money talks. Money talks. If you're about to talk paper, money talks. Money talks. Money talks. Welcome to Las Vegas. Money talks. Money talks. Money talks. If you're about to talk paper, money talks, money talks. Money talks. Money talks.